I want to just I want to just preface this video with these are these are first world problems, mate. There's nothing serious. And let me check this. You're in the middle of. <clears throat> there we go. You know. Just, just, you know. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's do it. In video again, because fuck Jesus Christ. Every. You know what? I can't fucking just. I just can't start a fucking video. Once I get into it, I'm alright. Let me. You know what? Fuck it. I used to be an alcoholic, I used to be addicted to cigarettes, I used to be addicted to drinking alcohol, okay? That was me. One day I decided that was it. I wasn't going to have it anymore. I, I was feeling like shit. I, fucking, I never had any money. Well, I still didn't have any money, but now my money's going on camera gear <laughs> fucking other shit. But, but um, you know, I was like, my money was just gone. At least now when I spend my money, it's on things that I, I can keep, you know, it's not making me sick and killing me. So anyway, I was a fucking raging alcoholic. I don't think many people would have fucking called me an alcoholic, especially not here in Australia and with the background I come from. I, I think people would have just, you know, said I was a normal, regular drinker, but I knew different. I knew I was an alcoholic. Maybe you're sitting there too thinking, you know, thinking about it, thinking, uh, you know, like, what am you know? Am I just a you know normal drink? You know, I don't really think anyone who's I don't really think there is a normal such thing as a normal drinker. If you're drinking to change your state of mind, do you know what I mean? Like your state of consciousness. If you if you you're changing your state of consciousness and you're like intentionally doing that, I think there's got to be some kind of issue. And I know that society gives us a lot of shit. So I'm not blaming anyone. I, I didn't blame myself for doing it even. I, you know, I knew, I kind of knew why I was doing it. I was doing it to escape reality. But um, yeah, I decided there had to be a better way. I didn't want to be sick. I wanted to, of course I wanted to, to escape reality. I still kind of want to escape reality now, but I'd rather choose like healthier ways to do that, like making YouTube videos or going for a ride on my bike. I can't do that now because I sold my bike. So you know, I've got to find other you got to find other hobbies, healthy activities, you know? And, uh, yeah, so get back on track. Hang on. Let me get back on track. So I quit drinking. might have been up to two years ago now. I can't remember. But it's definitely been over a year. Definitely. A year and a half at least. Let's just say a year and a half. Okay? And um, during that time, you know, it's hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's fucking hard, man. Like, super hard. If you're thinking about doing this, when if you do it, you need to take it super seriously, like, like really, really, really seriously. If if you hang around with people that drink, it's gonna it's gonna be like 99% impossible. If you're trying to quit smoking, if you hang out with people that smoke, and you know, you know, it's like near on impossible. So I'm sorry to say this, but you kind of have to. If you, I can imagine that if you got into this state of being an alcoholic, that probably most of your friends drink. Probably that's probably the main thing you have in common with your friends. And you know, I was talking to one of my friends the other day about this, and I was saying how, you know, we the only thing we we had in well, we had a lot of in we had a lot in common, but the main thing that would get us to become social and you know what I mean with each other, and we could talk about stuff was, you know, the alcohol. The alcohol would, you know, faci you know facilitate this uh, platform where we could socialise kind of thing, if you know, if you know what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, when you decide you want to take the alcohol away, your friends, it really puts a strain on... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say most of your friendships, it's going to put a strain on because... I don't know, they might not understand. It's a scary thing for other people too. So if you quit smoking and you quit drinking and they're still drinking and smoking, it's it's kind of, I don't know if it's intimidating for them or it's like something new. They don't want change to happen. They want to keep everything the same or whatever it is. There's even going to be kind of a, like a, a pushback. You know, they're going to say things like, oh, it's not that bad. You can just have one or two. And we all know what one or two leads to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now I'm going off. Now I'm going off. What did I want to make a point? I wanted to... What point was I trying to make? Anyway, yeah. Okay, this is the point. 
The other day, I was hanging out with my mates and they were drinking and they were smoking, like you're fucking going off on the beers, beers and going off on the ciggies, right? And usually I just couldn't be in that situation because I would just totally fucking lose it and just start smashing down beers and smoking ciggies like crazy, you know, I feel like shit. But the other day, and it was only like two days ago, I just, I didn't even, I, they were drinking right in front of me. I could smell the beer. I could smell the, obviously I can smell the ciggies, but I just didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind to, uh, you know, take part in that stuff. And it was a bit weird because like just the week before, I was kind of thinking about drinking a beer, drinking just one beer just to taste it with, um, my, the, one of the same friends that I was with this just the other day. But um, yeah, I didn't. So, and then the other day I didn't. And, um, you know, it wasn't that bad. I wasn't like, you know, I used to try and do that in the past and I'd get home and I'd just be like, fuck it, I want to drink, I've got to drink. And then I'd go and fucking get, you know, get, go and get plastered and fucking smoking like a whole pack of the ciggies. And, but yeah, I didn't. And I noticed it. And, I think yesterday and today I was really like thinking about it. I was thinking, wow, you know, really, it works, man. You can do it. You can fucking, I never thought I'd be able to do it. I always thought I'd go back one day, but you don't have to. You can fucking stop it. I'm just saying, that's all this video is about. I'm just saying that you can stop it. Yes, you might have to make huge changes. You might have to make, you might have to sacrifice your social life a little bit. Well, you know what? I'm not going to fuck around at all. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're going to have to sacrifice your social life probably, mostly, you're going to have, yeah, it's going to be gone probably, <laughs> especially with the people that you used to drink with. If you can make new friends, that's, that's okay. Uh, it's pretty hard to make new friends, especially when you're a little bit older like me. You know, I'm not like fucking old, old, but, you know, it's like when you're young, it's like, it's easy. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me talking here, but I find it hard to make new friends. So all my friends I had since um, I was in I was in primary school. So uh, you know I got, but most of them are into smoking ciggies, drinking alcohol, and you know doing other rec recreational. Fuck, I can't even talk. Rec, you know, like drugs, you know, like party drugs and stuff, and. Um, I just love all that stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's be honest. It's like when I went vegan, I didn't, I didn't quit. What's the time? I didn't quit um, eating meat because I didn't like the taste of eating meat. You know what I mean? And I went through this same issue with trying to quit meat and dairy as well. Um, you know, it's an addiction. I don't think people understand that too much or they don't, they don't put two and two together, but it's definitely an addiction if you, you know, foods can be addictions. Foods aren't supposed to be like drugs and alcohol, but they've turned out that way, haven't they? You know what I mean? With all the salt and sugar. It, um, it, oh, what's that word? Fuck, man, I can't even talk. It, um, it stimulates you. You know what I mean? It stimulates you too much. We're not supposed to be stimulated by food this much, you know, like sw yummy sweet fruits is about as much as we're supposed to be stimulated. And we're only supposed to eat as much as, you know, you, we feel like it. But once you start putting um, salt and sugar and all these chemicals in your food and eating these processed meat and dairy and stuff like that, it is addictive. It, it definitely is an addiction because I, I, and I know it because I've, I've quit eating meat and dairy. So I know, and that's fucking hard, man. Like out of everything, alcohol and cigarettes, you can just stay away from the people that are smoking and drinking. But when it comes to meat and dairy, it's like, it's not even close to being a bad, bad thing. Do you know what I mean? Like 99% of people. So that's super hard, but you can do it. You know, some vegans, some vegans are going to get grumpy with me when I say this because, you know, they just see the ethical side of things. They don't see the other side of things, but it's an addiction and we need to we need to be kind of, you know, if someone's quitting drinking and smoking, we don't just say, hey, fuck you, ethics, you know what I mean? Like, we have to, we've got to understand that it's an addiction and, um, yeah. Anyway, 
don't worry about the vegan talk. I'm not here to talk about vegan stuff. I'm just here to tell you that if you're trying to quit drinking, and you're trying to quit smoking, or you're trying to quit anything else, you know, I don't know what it's like to be hardcore addicted to drugs, like being a, like a totally addicted to heroin or, or um, crack or whatever it is. I haven't done heroin before. I have, you know, done a bit of crack, smoked a bit of, I smoked a little bit of crack, you know. But um, I realized quickly when I was doing those things that I have a very addictive personality. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> you know, people say that addictive, you've got an addictive personality. But I realized when I was doing those things, I've got a super addictive personality. So I don't, I'm like, well, this is nice. This fucking, this is good stuff. I love it. You know what I mean? That's why things like uh, ecstasy and, 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 and smoking crack and cigarettes and alcohol, because it takes you out of reality and it, does, it, feels, it feels amazing, you know? So it's hard to, if you have that, I don't know, what is an addictive personality? Maybe it's just someone who wants to hide from reality. Maybe it's just someone who can't, who, you know, doesn't have a, I don't know, who doesn't have a, who's not happy with, you know, their life or whatever, so they want to escape constantly, so they just, they use it as an escape. I think that's just what a, an addictive personality is, I think. For me it was, I'm just talking about me, okay? I'm just talking about me. Um, yeah, so, but you know what, once you get, once you get all that shit out of your life and you get away from, you need you need to get away from certain people for for a certain amount of time so you can stop it. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that you ever become like totally not like if you're an addict. I don't think you you can. I don't think you ever can become unaddicted from something. I think if you're addicted to drinking, if you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic. It's just you know you. You just got to not do it. Do you know what I mean? Like the alcohol, the alcoholic me is still there, just waiting. Just that one beer is just just waiting, you know, to come out. The bloke who smokes fucking cigarettes, a pack of cigarettes a day, he's just waiting there too. You know what I mean? He's just waiting to come out. But that's why we shouldn't start in the first place. Maybe we should, you know, teach our kids better and... That's what I realised as soon as when I had my daughter as well. That was a big thing for me. I didn't want my daughter to have to put up with what I put up with. Most of the shit that we put up with is self-inflicted. I know that there's a lot of shit that happens in society that is out of our control, which makes it even more important for us to be in control of ourselves and, you know, take control of what we're doing. So if you're out there and you're trying to quit drinking, and quit smoking, it works, man. You can do it, it's not easy, okay? It's not easy, but you're gonna make it real, you're gonna make it 10 times harder if you're around people that aren't on the same level, that aren't, because this is important, man. Quitting drinking, quitting smoking, quitting drugs is important to your well-being. it is important to your health, and if you're young and, you, and you're thinking about having kids, or you've got kids and you know, you're a product of your environment. You know what I'm saying? You're, in a, you're a product of your environment. And um, nine times out of ten, if you're fucked up, you know, your kid's going to fucking follow in your footsteps. And I don't know, that's not what I want. And, uh, you know, maybe you've got a different theory on things, I don't know. But for me, this is my theory. I want to talk about it today. I've talked about it for like fucking ages now. What is it, like 14 minutes? So yeah. yeah, that's it. If you want to get off the drugs, if you want to get off the alcohol and the cigarettes, you can 100% do it. You've just got to just you've got to make a resolve to never go back. You just can't go back. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to put yourself in. You need to put yourself in an, an environment that's, like my mate Tim would say, that's conducive to. A healthier lifestyle, a lifestyle that, that you would prefer to live, you know? But yeah, addictions, man, it's not, it's not something that we, you know, it's not really, as an individual, 
I would say, I know this is going to sound weird, but it's not your fault. Do you know what I mean? It's not your fault that you didn't know that this, this shit was fucking, you know? Society doesn't, our friends don't fucking tell us, dude, alcohol is going to fuck your liver up. It's going to fuck or whatever it fucks up. You know, it's going to fuck you up. It's going to put you in the grave early, you know? Cigarettes are going to fucking give you your lung cancer. Meat and dairy is fucking horrible for you, you know? Your mates aren't, you know, it's not, society isn't, it's not, it's hard, what's that saying? It's hard to be genuine in this genuous society. Do you know what I mean? It's hard, man. And well, there are a lot of people out there that are on the same page and you just got to find those people, get with those people, even if it's just online. Do you know what I mean? If you have to be a hermit crab for a couple of years, it's worth it. It's worth it. I remember when I was drinking and smoking and doing everything I could and now I, f I fucking look after myself, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. I can't even explain it. It's more than a physical thing. It's even, it's, you don't even worry about the physical side of things. You can still be a fat bastard and fucking, you know, I'm still, I'm not, physically I'm not health, healthy, but the biggest change has been mental. And uh, especially when it comes to controlling myself, uh, like, um, you know, being able to have, what's that word, self-discipline, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's done me wonders with controlling my anger and all that sort of business, so yeah, do it, do it for your mental health, and um, yeah, whatever, That's, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about that, whoever's watching, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, whoever's watching, yeah, man, just do it. Fucking quit that shit. Just fucking get that shit out of your life. We don't need it. The fucking... This is what this is what they do, man. This is what society does. They give us this shit, fucking alcohol, cigarettes. They give it to us and they fucking... They, they want us to be sick and confused and fucking not in the right state of mind so we don't fucking, you know, do the right thing and stand up for ourselves so we just be fucking, you know, robot slaves. Or whatever. I know that that might be getting out. Of, that I might be talking something that you don't want to fucking listen to. But you know, like think about it. Let's go to work and let's meet up at the pub. Let's have a cigarette break. Let's fucking drink coffee. It's all this stuff just to fucking. You just need all this shit to keep going because why? Because you have a fucking shit life. Because you work a fucking shitty job. You fucking have kids that you never wanted to fucking have. Do you know what I mean? You fucking, you know. It's depressing. Society itself is depressing. And then they, they give us this stuff. Alcohol, cigarettes, fucking drugs. Do you think the powers that be don't give us fucking any... All right, no, I'm not going to get, get into that. All right, guys, good luck. If you're addicted, if you're an addict, then good luck to you, please. Think about it. Get away from that. Leave that life behind and you'll feel so much better. You'll feel fucking... It'll be, it'll blow your fucking mind, but yet it takes time. It takes a long time. And yeah, okay. I'm out.